Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the word of God and bring it to life in our lives. Genesis 50 verse 20, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. New Living Translation, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. He brought me to this position so I could save the lives of many people. English Standard Version, as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. To bring, to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your amazing power. You are the only God who can turn bad, bad situations into good situations for the good of everybody. You are the only God, Father, who can turn situations around for the good of everyone, even those who are responsible for causing harm on other people. You are the only God, Father, who always has a plan to deliver and to save every single one of us. Father, we thank you for Joseph's life. We thank you for what you did with his lives. You are no respecter of persons and what you have done for Joseph, you will do for us as well, as long as we have faith in you, Father. We are believing in this word that everything that has happened to us from the day we were born to this very moment, every experience we've had, Father, we are believing that you will turn it around. Though they meant it for evil, you, O oh God, will use every single experience we've ever had for the good of us and for the good of our families and for the good of every single person around us, including our enemies, Father. Father, you are the God who is not a God who wastes anything. You do not waste anything. You are a God who uses all situations as long as we stand in faith in you, Father. I pray for strength, just like you gave uh, Joseph strength and patience to wait all those years when he didn't know what you were doing with his life. Father, I pray for strength in our lives, every single person who is listening to this prayer. I pray that you would give us strength and patience and perseverance in ways that people don't understand. Perseverance to enjoy and to see you through and to be patient and to wait on you. No matter how long it takes, may we see your plans through, Father. Though we may not understand them, though we may not know them, you alone are God. You alone know what you are doing. May we have the patience and the strength to stand and to wait and to give you a chance to do what you want to do with our lives, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, your word says, it is written in your word that all things work together for good to those that love the, the Lord. Father, you know we love you. You know we wait on you, though it's hard sometimes to wait, though sometimes we may feel impatient. But ultimately, Father, we long for your kingdom to come. We long for your will to be done in our lives and not for the will of the kingdom of darkness. As we pray this prayer, Father, we come against the will of the, the kingdom of darkness. We stand against it. We resist the devil. And as he flees from us, as we submit ourselves to you, Father, be it done unto us according to your will. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for all the lives who are going, that are going to be changed and be transformed as a result of what you have done with our pain, with our situations, with our misfortune, with every single bad thing we've gone through, where it looked like you were not there. Father, you are always there. You said you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father, we thank you because what they meant for evil for us, you have used it for the good of everybody. We thank you, Father, for the patience to stand just like Joseph did. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you would stand and help us stand. It is written in your word that with man this is impossible, but with you nothing shall be impossible. With you it is not impossible for our lives to be used to turn the lives of other people around in just by demonstrating patience and perseverance in everything that we see and experience, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we glorify your name. Let our lives glorify your name. Let our patience glorify your name. It is written in your word, many shall see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. Many shall see our deliverance. Many shall see our transformation in your word. Many shall see our restoration. Many shall see, Father, our progress. Many shall see our salvation, our release. Many shall see incredible things happen in our lives and trust the Lord and, and many shall see and fear you and put their trust in him father that includes our enemies it is written in your word that while we were yet seen as Christ died for us Christ died for all of us Christ died for even our enemies father the very enemies who are driving us to a point of praying as much as we are father I always thank you for our enemies because they are part of the reason we've had to turn to you for all the wrong and the bad they have done to us 
Father, you said vengeance is yours, so we submit them to you. We pray deliverance and salvation, Father, because while we're yet seen as Christ died for us, for us, for all of us, Christ died for every single one of us. Let every single person be delivered and let these entities of darkness that use your children to execute their plans and to commit their evil, let them be bound and be thrown into the abyss, Father, and be destroyed and be tormented before their time. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.